seeing the figures that you have here, there's there's no TNA knockouts up here right now. Not yet. But but you are doing knockouts because that is a major part of TNA. Yeah, not, Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, knockouts, as we've seen from a ratings perspective, is uh, through the roof basically. Yeah, I mean, very very strong, and uh, certainly we'll have knockouts. And frankly, and it's just something uh, I see Enrique over here. It's something I was thinking about the other day, and and uh, haven't really said this out loud yet, but. You know, maybe rather than just doing um, one knockout per case, maybe we should do something with like a Toys R Us where we do a knockout assortment and just make it exclusive to TRU and maybe do it twice a year. Something to that effect where you can know that you can get the best knockouts. And when I say that, I mean also through, uh, through WrestlingFigs.com. <laughs> <laughs> After you look at John going, what? Really? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, um, obviously, uh, we've had such support from uh, from wrestling figs and ringside collectibles that uh, it's not something that we want to uh, alienate or walk away from. Well, I know that was one of your major concerns when you were doing WWE product is the divas sat on the shelf more than the regular guys. Yep. However, the difference with TNA and, and WWE with, you know, n no major changes or, or, or no insults to any of them. You know, the TNA girls are, are, are over more in, in TNA and, and that brings a whole different variety and changes the focus, I would assume, for knockouts because now people are wanting to see them yeah. wrestle and now people are wanting their product. Well, I think it has a lot to do with the philosophy of the organization right. and I think I uh, think WWE has always done an outstanding job with their female athletes, and I think that uh, TNA's focus is is really more on the athleticism and the more the wrestling, uh, and maybe less of the diva positioning. So I wouldn't necessarily say that these are divas; these are more like Smash Mouth um, wrestler. wrestlers. And uh, from that perspective, it may make uh, uh, an action figure perspective be more viable. Right. And uh, you know, for for us. You know, when we're doing our, our uh, strategizing and, you know, obviously sometimes you overthink things and uh, some of the best ideas happen when you're not thinking about it at all. Uh, but I think that uh, I think that uh, having a segment of Divas may actually make sense for this line. And we might see the TNA Divas Tag Team Champions as well? <laughs> Excuse me, I just said Divas. <laughs> I, what I meant was... Uh, <laughs> athletes. Right. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's okay. I've been worried, but say it, say it again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll see tag team championship, sure. women tag team championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think it's absolutely fair to say that that we will do more extensive uh, female um, stuff, but I think that it'll probably be a, an account exclusive, and I probably will probably have some elements online as well versus um, doing uh, at all accounts. Now, I was talking to Enrique earlier. You know, there's there's close to 100 guys, or maybe a little over 100, that have not had action figures in three years. Right. So this is a great way to start the line off. Tell us who you're looking at maybe in the future. Are you going to go back to the beginning of TNA, like the Asylum Nashville days, and, and yeah. try and go that way? Look, everything's fair game. Um, we are very creative, and uh, we're going to attack this in a way that I think that you'll be very proud to collect. Um, I'm going to ask for you guys to give me a, a couple months to really on this entire blanket issue. Uh, you know, Enrique and I and the team are working very hard. Um, there's a lot of new business development left to be done. And at the end of the day, um, I think that uh, there's going to be some really great outcome here. So I won't get into classics right now because I know we need to wait on those because there's going to be some future developments yeah. hopefully on this. Yeah, and I would say, I would say that, uh, you know, without again, without getting into any detail at all, which, you know, because it is what it is. Um, I, I'll tell you that, uh, it, you know, if we were to venture into that world, we'll do it in a way that makes sense. That would be nice. That would be nice. So let's get to the wrestling figures, uh, figures forum there. Uh -oh. um, Vampire is God asked. Vampire I am, is God. <laughs> Vampire is God. I am a big WWE build and brawl line collector. Will we see a line like this in TNA figures, and how soon can we expect it? Yeah, I think that's absolutely you'll see three and three quarter inch uh, figures, um, but uh, probably through uh, some sort of, uh, it may not be year one, and we'll probably do it through an account exclusive, probably shared online exclusive. Uh, Mr. Sacco asks, is Jack's planning on making just TNA wrestlers, or are they going to do other guys like referees, announcers, etc.? Well, Absolutely, we'll do referees, announcers, etc. Jeremy Borash, people, Mike Tanay, guys like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you said Jeremy, I got excited. <laughs> uh, Borash, sure. Yeah, we'll do Borash. Padauer, baby. Padauer. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, the Padauer referee. Yeah, all three of you guys might want that one. That'll be good. My um, mom will buy two of them. K 
captain of captains asks, how are these figures? Captain. So he's the like cap the captain of the captains. Like captain? He is. <laughs> he's like Captain Morgan. That's unbelievable. He's captain of captains. How are is these? more powerful than the god of vampires? The vampire of God? Or yeah. va vampire is God? Yeah. Maybe. I'd like to see that throw down. <laughs> I want to see captain of captains versus vampire is God. Vampires can't really die, though, right? That's a good point. Yeah, that's a good, I guess vampire guy wins. <laughs> Maybe.